Hello, this is Star 103.5 FM. Good morning to you and uh, thank you so much for choosing us. Of course, we are simply the best. Wherever you're doing the listening from, probably in a trotro at home right about now, you're preparing to go to work, you are listening to us on radio, um, on Facebook, probably. Thank you so much for joining. I am Jones Aji. This is the Sports Chat and of course, I'm here with Nana Ama Ajman. Together, bringing you the latest in the world of sports yesterday calf came out to confirm that charlie you people you don't get stadium you don't get any better stadium for the whole country the whole country <laughs> and um asamajan baby baby he also came out to um say that see the politics no mean you mean you yes so asamajan yesterday dropped Banga, and uh, you know, if, if you follow the MPP's campaign, he's actually he was actually part of the sports uh, manifesto team for the MPP, and then he was seen around uh, the, the their campaigns. He was on stage and all that. But yesterday, he says that see, I've not been fair to the youth. Bring you details of all that, and then reactions have been pouring in. Yes, yes, yes. So yesterday, um, on the game, we we brought uh, sports journalists. Sadiq Adams, and then he has been saying some things, interesting things, very, very interesting things around the calf and then um, um, the issues surrounding. And where would we be going? Nana, Ama, Ajemine. We don't have a calf accredited license stadium. How how old is Ghana? I think is it sixty. Yeah. 60 to 64. Chale, chale, and 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 that means retirement too. In Ghana, when you're sixty, <laughs> even after retirement. It means hey. after retirement you can't even boast of of maybe maybe a single um, self-contained or maybe, it was, no. you should you should you build should, a house. You should no, build okay, a house. no, it depends on the kind of work that you do, right? Yeah. But for Ghana, um, with, 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 with the what we have, that we no. have the gold, everything that hey. we have. It is such a shame. It is bad. It, it, see, it's now bad. We, we, it, it's like a cliche. <laughs> we sound like broken records it's when bad. we talk about Ghana not having stadiums. And it's, it's a shame. It's bad. I know during the 2008, we built stadiums <laughs> here in Ghana. But obviously, the maintenance culture. So, so, so that, that, that is the problem. <laughs> that, that is how come we are wow. here. You know, we wow. only sort of show interest in something when... Um, there's a tournament, there's something happening yeah. and all that. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that finally we are here. I mean... You're happy? Again, oh, of course. We deserve it. No, they, at this point in time, I'm not Ghanaian. So, hey. they deserve it. Hey. Yes, they, 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 they deserve it. Because I, I feel like Calf should have done this um, long, uh, long time ago. Yeah. When we were about to play Angola. That is when they should have done this. Because I blame them. After the Angola game, yeah. I blame them completely. I didn't even blame the NSC yeah. because they were the first port of contact. So they were the first people. I mean, they, have... they, they've been lenient with us because oh. of history and you history, know history. But and, I mean, history. <laughs> what what is history? I, they, they, they've, they've done the right thing. It's been a long time coming. And I, I know we will, I don't know, they will not learn their lessons because I know the money yeah. involved in going to play somewhere else. Yeah. They could have used it to fix the stadium. Yeah, yeah. Way, way. yeah that yeah, is what yeah. they want. Oh, yes, they want. yes. Oh, so, yeah, they, 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 des they deserve it. So, they, sh they should find a way. I'm hearing is either Cote d'Ivoire or Nigeria. Yeah. They better not go to Nigeria because no, Nigeria, Nigeria they, they, yeah. they will tease Ghanaians. They, 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 uh, of sure course, you don't, don't have standard don't stadiums. Yeah. yeah, you don't. They'll give it to us with two. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, it's a good call. Is it's that a bad? Good call. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Calf. Thank you very much. Oh, you are thanking them. Yes, yes. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so there you have it. Yesterday, it came on the GFA's website that Calf has rejected outrightly. Bye bye. Our sports stadium after the Angolan game is actually. I'm not there. This is what we have. No, 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 no. So we can't work with this. And uh, well, let's just get some quick reactions. Um, a lot. He said a lot. Sports Obama has said a lot. Uh, Sadiq Adams, he was on the game yesterday. And then, so, well, he, you know, he revealed yesterday that there were broken bottles on the pitch at the Bayer Sports Stadium. And one of the Black Stars players was cut by a broken bottle Can during training Can before the, uh, the, the World Cup qualifier. Not yeah, this one, not the they, Angolan they had game. A on, 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 on the Chale. pitch. They had a concert on the pitch. How? 
This is a shame. You know, Jer uh, Jerome Opuku yeah, got injured yeah, yeah. at the Baba Yara Sports Stadium. Well, I we understand his is yeah, back injured. Yeah, he's back. Of yeah. course, he, he, got, he got injured on that pitch. And, uh, and back, I keep on saying, uh, back injured, it, it, yeah. is, is he not back to his club? Yeah, it yeah, is his club yeah. who pay, and it will affect the player. So, be there. <laughs> I mean, he, he said a lot of things. We, we, are, we are going to play some of the voice, but let me just get some of the quotes for you. Um, he also said, I uh, see. All right, so for the cost, for the cost, we'll come to that. He says FIFA has actually said that GFA has received funding, mm -hmm. and then GFA has reported back that they've renovated 18 natural grass pitches in the country. Wait, wait which natural grasses? <laughs> they, should, they should account, they should, they should, yes, they should and, show and, and it's videos. on the FIFA website. Oh, wow, yes, wow, yes, okay. I'll take it upon myself yeah. and investigate. Yeah, 18 natural pitches, yes, whoa, natural grass, grass, yes, apart from the one they are constructing at Pram Pram. I don't know of any natural grass pitches. They said they've Whoa. constructed, constructed, or renovated. In the, it means past tense. Or why did that? Whoa! Yes, according to according to Sports Obama, oh. and it, 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 it is on uh, FIFA's uh, side that they've done this. Interesting. And and you see, <laughs> eighty. But I, I thought it was the government that we're building astro -tips. What are the GFA go to? No, no, no. Astro pitches. Yes. I, I so the astro are different I, from fine, the natural. Fine. Yes. Yeah. So we, yeah. we, we have to know. Yeah. The where they are. Uh, where, yes. Where are they? Where are they? Hey, this is my first time hearing this. <laughs> well, he also said that if the GFA are serious, they can fix the pitch and own it. Now, um, before I play his voice, hmm, he threw a, a caution or he advised the president because, you know, if you followed. Uh, the youth and sports minister for some time he has always been saying that this is the government that has built infrastructure mm. the most well, i don't know why you're claiming the truth they've built infrastructure they've invested in sports infrastructure more than any other government mm. right they've always been saying, saying. saying so he has an advice for the president let's get to listen to uh, sadiq adams who was speaking on gh1 tv yesterday i were the government too if i were nanado i will i will question the leadership of sports in this country. Mm -hmm. Summon the minister, ministry. summon the National Sports Authority director, summon GFA, GFA president, and ask them. I have said on several platforms, me and Anado, mm -hmm. I have said on several platforms that I have invested in infrastructure than any government in the history of this country. It has come to my time. It has never happened in the history of Ghana that we have been banned from hosting matches in our country. So if I have invested this much and I can tout myself on platforms, why is it that the irony happens during my time? Hmm. The, the government that has invested so much in infrastructure is the same government supervising the, the deplorable state hmm. of the pitches, hmm. leading to the national team field being withdrawn hmm. from hosting matches. So how does hmm. this happen? How hmm. do we marry the fact that the MPP government and Ananadu say they have invested more than any government in the history of Ghana in terms of finances, in terms of infrastructure. Even with sports, for, uh, sorry, several, they've invested this, more. No, they have said, in, I'm not saying. They have said. I'm they have saying. said, mm. and it's on record, yeah. that they, they said they have invested more in Absolutely. infrastructure than any government. That's true. Mm. The basic infrastructure for sports is stadium. Absolutely. The basic one, FIFA laws, the first law is pitch. The pitch. Right. Knowing sure. the fundamental importance. Mm. If you say you have invested so much than any government, and it is your time that we don't have a common pitch to host. So what kind of infrastructure basket. did you... So he should question... So for the first time, Ghana would need to play outside. Like for the first time, oh. And, no, why, and, why are you surprised? And, no, no why? it means that it, it, this, thing, this, thing, this thing just makes sense. It makes sense that we are saying we've invested a lot. When you look at how much went into um, the the Legon Stadium, Stadium um, the what's the name, Boteman, and all that, and and we see we are building astro thefts. What someone came to say that the astro thefts are stop standard. He, he his team um, uh, owner went to 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 tell him to apologize and all that, and it doesn't make sense that we. Or the government are saying that, see, we have invested so much in sports infrastructure and we don't have a common pitch. So there, there's so much, you know, away. where is it? Now we have to go to probably Ivory Coast, Beni, or Nigeria. <laughs> and then Nigeria, I don't want to mention it because I, I, it will be very bad. 
Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's good. Um, Sadiq and yeah. I said, Happy belated birthday to yeah, you. Yeah. Anyway. Belated happy birthday. That's why they say, Hey, yeah. belated happy birthday, Sadiq and I was <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, I mean, it, it's good that he he he, mm. he, he said that his, his concerns are genuine. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I, I mean, Ghana, me, the only thing that really affects me or I'm not happy about is that Kwesi Apia not coming to Kumasi. Yeah. Because I know that they would have been. No, wait, wait. Let me land. Okay. Let me land. Okay. Right, right. I knew that Kwesi, I know, I know that Kwesi Apia Sudan will beat the Black Stars. So it, I had wanted him to, to happen. do that, so that in front of our home crowd, yeah. the Jetter Stone. Yeah. I, I was just, because honestly, everything is not in place. So me, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. Yeah. When I saw that, I was, oh, very, very good, good move yeah. by the calf. I'm, I'm very happy. Okay. I'm very, wow. very happy. So, we bow our heads and mm, shame. So, so now, the question is, how much is it going to... You know, you, you might be happy. There's another thing too, Nanama. See, they, they don't care. No, they wait. They, but but they, it, they it is taxpayers' money. money. It's taxpayers' money. In this situation. Yes, it, it is taxpayers' money. I can't worry now, my head over this, please. Um, the, the point is that, uh-huh. the point is that regardless of everything, regardless of the fact that maybe you have given up or whatever, uh-huh. it is still taxpayers' money. Yes. Right. And uh, now, when you get to find out how much is going to be spent on... The pitch. No, wait. It. You don't even renovating. So an away game. Do? Going for an away <laughs> game. You know, you're going to pay. You yeah. When you go outside, you're going to pay yeah. because you're going to use whatever you're going to use. Mm-hmm. And then, for inconvenience to your away team and all that, there is a fee to be paid. Right. Now, the cost of flying players, because the players are going to come to Ghana first, then they would come before going home away from home. <laughs> yeah. There are going to be tickets, accommodation, and all that before going for the proper away game at Sudan. Now, Sadiq has been breaking down the money for us. And I'm like, Charlie, you know, it's funny. That money, we could, we could have used it to repair the pitch. Mm-hmm. So, according to Sadiq, we could have used $250,000 US dollars, right, mm-hmm. to fix the pitch at the Barbara Sports Stadium. Right. And then it is going to cost Ghana over. One million dollars on the average. Look at this for an away game. Look at this. Let's get to listen we to him. Uh, uh, I told you guys you should always listen to the country. game. Let's listen to the or watch the game on GH1 TV or um, um, listen to it on radio because we always bring the people. We have the men exclusive, yeah. You know, because this one we can't play everything that he said for you. So <laughs> let, let's let's listen to him as he broke down the million dollars that Charlie Gada will be spending for an away game. <laughs> They will need Yeah, they will need says, two. Let me say. Yes. <laughs> L- let me add hundred thousand. Okay. Now, if we fly them to Morocco, we will need to board flight for like four hundred and fifty thousand mm. dollars to play away game, mm. a game that we have played at home. Mm. So Pate and Co will come here. Mm-hmm. Then we have another charter flight at a cost of around five hundred thousand mm. dollars. Because one Black Stars game away is $1 million. Yeah. Yeah. That's average. Yeah. Yeah. So the flight and feeding and, acc- and hotel. hotels yeah. 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 will cost hotels. us around $600,000. But we could have fixed the Babayara Stadium with yes. $250,000 permanently. Hmm. But we are going to play one, two, three games. So we should be budgeting around $2.5 million this is for three games. Hmm. If we are going to play three away games, mm-hmm. you know the World Cup qualifiers are coming. Yeah, so so coming. if FIFA so come... Right, so um, uh, there you have it, the breakdown of, of, of how much Ghana is likely to spend when we go and play away from home. So home away from home. Uh, let's go to a crowd of folk because other folk have dismissed reports claiming that they have given their head coach Abu Bakar a five-game ultimatum to turn the team's fortunes around. Now, the Phobians have had a disappointing start to the season, suffering a 1-0 defeat to newly promoted side Basake Holy Stars in the Ghana Premier League. In a statement, the club described the reports as entirely false and fabricated and should be disregarded. They are, however, encouraging fans to keep faith in the Ivorian. Alright, uh, let, let, let's just move straight to the foreign scene and then we start off from former three lions manager gareth southgate he has admitted that his english side and their exits and change of manager brings hope that the team can go on and be successful now the former uh english defender led his side to the final of the euro 2020 which they lost on penalties at italy 
uh, to Italy at Wembley before a quarter final exit at the 2022 World Cup. His final tournament in charge was this summer as England were edged out 2 1 by Spain in the final. Now, Southgate left his role as uh, the manager just two days after England's Euro 2024 final defeat to Spain. And according to him, it was the right time uh, for change. I had an incredible eight year uh, journey with the team. Uh, it was an absolute privilege to be manager of my country, um, work with brilliant players, uh, fantastic staff. So, yeah, look, we wanted to do that final piece. We, we achieved so much across that period, and to have finished it by winning the final would have been perfection. Um, but it wasn't to be, uh, but I'm sure the team can now go on and be successful over the next few years. I don't think you can have regrets. Um, you know, we made decisions that, with the information we had at the time, to try and produce a winning team. We went to a first final in 60 years. We went to another final, the first we've ever been to away from England. Um, so we made huge, huge progress, of course. As a professional, you want to win, and ultimately, some people will judge you purely on that. But we also had some incredible nights. I think we've taken the team, the, the consistency. We're ready to compete in every tournament, and um, you know, I'll be, I'm hugely proud of that progress. As a leader, you have to look at where you picked it up and where you leave it. Well, he also revealed that he's not in a rush to find a new role, and that he's open to opportunities on and off the field. I've got lots of opportunities. I'm very open-minded to what's next. That might be in football, that might be outside of football. I'm just going to take some time, uh, re refresh, recharge, and go from there. No, I think at the moment people know that um, uh, I, I need to get, get some energy back. I'm intent on enjoying my life. I'm not going to rush into anything. Um, I want to make sure that I make good decisions. And as I say, there's, there's lots of different experiences that I'm enjoying, a bit like today. Uh, got some charities that I want to support, which are very important to me. Um, but also there's, there's a, as I said, opportunities outside of football as well that I, I'm also quite interested in. All right, so that was um, Gareth Southgate, former coach of the Three Lions of England. Now, Manchester United have reported a net loss of 113.2 million pounds in the year to uh, from last year to 30th of june now their latest account show uh, it follows a loss of 28.7 million pounds in 2022 to 2023 and then 115.5 million in 2021 2022 now meanwhile a uefa report has revealed that manchester united had the highest aggregate attendance in domestic league football of all European men's clubs during the 2023-2024 season. The European Club Talent and then Competition Landscape Report published on Thursday uh, found out that in league matches, their total attendance of 1,397,148 was the highest of all European teams at home. Hey, Charlie, as my Shankar, the fans still the go. So, last season, last season, Manchester United had the highest aggregate attendance in domestic league football of all Euro European men's club uh, during last season. Yo, now Chelsea uh, made for the Enzo Fernandez has been disqualified from driving following two driving offenses. The Argentine International received the ban and was fined uh, three thousand and twenty pounds after being found guilty on two charges of failing to identify the driver of a Porsche Cayenne. All right, now Paul Pogba's brother and five uh, other men will reportedly uh, stand trial as part of an alleged extortion case that targeted the French man two years ago. Pogba 31 um, filed a complaint after he was kidnapped and robbed in March 2022 by two unidentified Max men in Paris who demanded 13 million <laughs> euros from him for protection services. Five people close to the World Cup winner were said to have meticulously prepared a meeting which ended with Pogba being kidnapped. After the original threats, the group uh, were said to intimidate Pogba and claim that he didn't support them after becoming an international star in order to get him paid. So, after two years of investigation, the Paris, uh, Paris Prosecutor's Office confirmed that Matthias Pogba and then five men would stand trial in the... Alright, now let's end with some boxing before I actually bring you um 
results from the under 20 world cup because this weekend this weekend the highly anticipated boxing match uh, between canelo alvarez and then his opponent edgar belanga is getting heated because <laughs> canelo alvarez has come out and uh, is telling well belanga that see i am strong but i have faced stronger opponents and i know that this one would end in eight rounds and meanwhile belanga a rising talent from brooklyn has been making waves in the boxing world and has also come out to say that he is going to stop canelo in uh, the sixth round so canelo wants to stop him in the eighth round and then uh, uh, balenga wants to stop him in the sixth round don't forget that that fight is on saturday night this weekend and let's move to some results from the under 20 world cup because yesterday ghanian uh, african representative i must say yes yes cameroon they did war in the first 90 minutes they sent brazil to extra time but then brazil were too strong for them so brazil beat them three goes to one uh, so brazil three uh, cameroon one after extra time and then spain beats canada by two goes to one also uh colombia they beat south korea by a goal to nothing and then mexico uh, lost to united states of america after extra time by three goals to two now today at 9 30 you would see uh germany's under 20 take on argentina's under 20 and then north korea's under 20 would take on austria's and uh, 20 and later we'll see france take on netherlands and then japan would play african reps nigeria in there all right that'll be all for sports this morning my name is jones aji i was here with nana ama ajma the morning show continues this is star 103.5 fm oh,